When I go into my creative process, then I am able to feed myself all the peace that I need. I am at peace. And, you know, it's like being in your happy place, you know. People have different ways of achieving this feeling, but for me, is that's where I, you know, find my own peace. Hello, my name is Roberto Buffo. I've been in Hong Kong for six years, uh, where I work full-time as an artist and an art educator. I uh, like to think of myself as an abstract, representational abstract and intuitive artist. So I um, draw and paint intuitively. I like the use of very simple elements like lines, like um, dots and spots and shapes and all of those uh, elements combined they come to form different uh, forms and symbols and very little compositions that then are added up to other little compositions and we get these these types of work it's very subtle work so um, it's very tiny um, but yet some pieces are so you know, quite for, for me, this is quite a big, large, um, you know, big size piece. It isn't always what it what it looks like. Depending on how close or how far you're standing from the work, you'll have a different uh, perception of the the work itself and the art itself. So my practice covers a few different styles. Um, I organize them in different uh, collections, different series of works. So I have my knowledge series, say for example this work specifically, Silently and, you know, Clarity and um, The Grey, where, you know, I use like all these um, little symbols, so all the lines and the motif making. And then I have my reflection series. This particular piece is from the, um, the Age of Time collection. So my ring pieces, a one line, you know, build up to, you know, resemble uh, the crop section, um, you know, of, the, of a tree. The more rings, the more we go back, say, for example, 600 years in time. Where would that tree have been living? Uh, one piece of mine takes us back to the Renaissance uh, period in Europe, so 1350s, around that time. And then there is my evolution series. It's like a, it's like a combination of the big, very flowy brush strokes on white paper, you know, black on white, always, and then really overlapped with all of the other techniques. I do ink on paper and acrylic on canvas only. I just, I just love ink and the way that it flows and I think I um, familiarized with that medium when um, I was in Beijing at the time. I spent seven years in Beijing and I was studying there. I, I used to love writing Chinese that just, you know, just even for fun I met uh, directors and teachers and that were you know very passionate about calligraphy and so on and so we shared time together and that's when I came across the medium ink and and it just stayed with me I would say it's, it's a quick work if I work on it less than a hundred hours if I go over a hundred hours then you know it starts becoming quite intense my uh, my most challenging work was 300 hours of work, yeah. Actually, the only active color that I use is black. Um, but when you use that color in, in the way that I use it, then your perception of the color becomes gray. And I love the fact that black turns into gray when it's really worked on, on really tiny scales. And it's also a color that uh, conveys peace and calm me when you look at my work I want you to feel at peace you know COVID took away um, a lot from us um, but you know art in a way can give you so much back it can be very healing especially at times uh, of tragedy and uh, hardship big dreams now would be to really have my work in important
important institutions, museums, top tier galleries, and just have, you know, just for the world to know what I do, that, you know, Roberto's here, and that I was here, that's the dream. And